The Brooks Bandits are going to the Interflex Cup for the first time in franchise history. The AJHL regular season champs swept the Olds Grizzlies and are only four wins away from hoisting the trophy. Really pumped. Uh, never played in the AJHL final. I think everyone is, yeah, just really excited to get going. I feel like we should be here. We should have got to the south and we didn't, but it feels great. Our guys accomplished what they set out to do from the beginning. Never played in a championship, so this is uh, something new, which at 20 is always welcome, I guess. And I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, just kind of anxious to get it going. It's kind of too bad that we have to wait a week, but. And the waiting game is something they're used to. The Bandits had an 18 day break after capturing the regular season crown. Another 14 days after sweeping the Calgary Canucks in the first round. And by the time we start, eight games in 50 days. It wears on you. If we tried to say that we weren't bored as a whole group, it'd be a lie. We try to do things, keep it fun, keep it light, and then get serious as the playoff series is getting a little bit closer and closer. But it, it, it's been a challenge. Popular belief would state that what hasn't been a challenge is the Bandits rise to the top due to a weaker South division. It's tough to say, like you can only play in your, like the teams you're scheduled to play. Like you can't, you can't go to the North as much as we would want to but uh, the, the South was a bit weaker this year, and, but I think our record against the North was still pretty strong. And we... Historically, yes, there's always the top two or three teams that can compete, but historically, for whatever reason, the South Division isn't up to par with the North, and we wish we played in the North. Do we have a test coming up? Yes, but I think we're confident to go in there, and whoever our opponent is, we're comfortable playing with them. Their opponents will either be the Fort McMurray Oil Barons or the two-time defending champions, Bruce Grove Saints. The only, the only thing I would prefer is Spruce Grove because the bus, the bus trip. There's the one thing. Travel, obviously like to play Spruce Grove, so we don't got to be hanging on the bus for a day and a half. But True, Spruce is a little bit shorter of a haul. We've beat either one, we've played against either one, and I don't really care who we play. We played Fort Mac pretty well this year and last year. Wouldn't mind maybe seeing them, but it would be nice to knock Spruce off. Finally, someone has to do it. <laughs> and the perfect Cinderella team to do it would be the Brooks Bandits. But how much emotion has surrounded the season after former player Nick Crosby died in a car accident on July 5th, 2011. It's not something we put to the forefront because we've talked about it enough and everybody in there knows that. It's in our brains, it's in our hearts. He's a big part of this, his family's a big part of this, and we're playing for him, absolutely. Yeah, everyone is, it's not really said, I don't think it needs to be said, but yeah, it's, he's always up in the, in the rafters and we're always, He's always in our hearts and minds. Uh, yeah, for sure. It, it's definitely a motivator for us all year, and everybody's kind of been clicking on it, and even the guys that didn't know Nick kind of just pay tribute to him after every game, so it's, it's definitely a nice touch, but that'd be, that'd be a good way to send him off, yeah. The Brooks Bandits currently hold a 19-game winning streak that dates back to January 21st, and if they sweep the next series, that'll be 23 wins in a row for the championship. Well, I, honestly, I haven't thought about it until just now. <laughs> so, I don't. E I don't even know. I. I can't even. I can't even think what would be going through my mind. But I won't be able to find words for that. Uh, when it happens, I'll talk to you after, and I'll let you know. But there won't be words for it for sure. It, it'll be emotional. It'll be emotional, and we want that. I know it'd be. We'd all be really proud of ourselves, I guess, and I think Nick would be one of the first things through everyone's mind, and. Maybe his parents, I think, uh, just winning it for his family. And That'd be a weird coincidence, but I guess he's been looking over us all season, so if it happens, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really call it, call it too far-fetched. And neither is the championship itself. Games one and two will be in Brooks on Good Friday and Saturday the 7th. For Shaw TV, I'm Dave Dawson.